two builders. What good is a radar eye if you don't have a radar lens? I am going to construct a radar lens using these plastic balls that I got over at the Hobby Lobby. They cost me $1.79. Draw a circle around them and then I'm going to use my Dremel tool right here. That way I can cut the circle out. But I'm not actually going to cut on that line. I'm going to cut just above that line. That way I can put this on a hot plate, or at least that's what I'm going to attempt to do. That way I can form a ridge. Um, that way that ridge rests nice and comfortably right here around this. That way we have a nice space and I'll fiberglass, put some fiberglass resin in that and hopefully that secures it. When I do this, what I'm going to do is paint the inside of this black so it looks like the actual radar lens. What I'm doing here is I am placing our plastic half sphere into our radar eye. I'm going to tape it down and secure it. That way I can draw a black marker line all around the inside so I know where to cut with my Dremel tool. What I'm doing here is I'm taking my Sharpie, I'm going around the inside edge because going around the outside edge was a little bit too hard. Here I'm going around the outside edge but I do switch over to the inside. As you can see I'm doing that now and I just go around that edge all the way around the inside and I mark it so I know where to cut with my Dremel tool. I've got my lens here and I'm going to slowly go along the inside of this and slowly cut it. You have to be careful not to melt the plastic. Um, I've been told there are better ways to do this so maybe the next time I construct one that's exactly what I'll do. So we go around this edge, you'll see it melts the plastic a little bit as I'm doing it which is not the greatest thing in the world but I get the job done and we just slowly work our way around until the piece comes free. I have the tape on the one side, it'll keep me from getting fingerprints and scratches on the lens. When it came out overall, I messed up when I was trying to buff some things out from the whole process, so I left the scratches and the dents in it because it'll make my R2 a little bit unique.
because I used the Dremel tool, it melted the plastic, which caused these burrs, which you see here. So all these burrs have to be either picked off, dremeled off, or sanded off. Again, that's why I have that blue tape on there, and that's to protect the outer lens. But I wound up scratching it anyway and left it. So just a lesson, don't do that. Make sure everything's covered up if you want your lens to look nice and pretty. Here I am going to attempt and flatten out an edge with this hot plate. It's basically just a piece of metal on the stove. I got it a little bit, but it wasn't working out too well for me, so I wound up just breaking all that off and sanding it as well. So now my uh, my lens just sits perfectly inside of my radar eye, which is how I wanted it. Here I'm going to spray paint this black. I think I used a gloss or a, scent, a flat black color, and as you see here, it's pretty much out of paint, but I managed to make it work and get two coats out of it, and I am happy, and you will see the finished product here. This is what my painted radar lens looks like inside of my radar eye. It's a little scratched, but I am okay with that just because I want my R2 to look rugged.